To celebrate Cranky's 150th anniversary of activity, the company has presented its new flagship, the 78. We know that exceeding these dimensions, you enter the pleasure boat segment or even the super yacht segment. Cranky has remained within the homologation limit of 24 meters. However, it provided this model some comforts and qualities that are typical of super yachts. Let's go check them out. Let's start from the beach area. The swimming platform is lowered and before completely submerging, it stops at the same level as the garage and forms a very large beach club. With a shower, a sound system. It is all very elegant, thanks to a curtain that if needed can hide the tenders. In the hangar, there is room for a 395 centimeter dinghy and a jet ski. Alternatively, you can place the tender on the platform and use the garage as a huge hold. There are two arrangements foreseen for the cockpit and there are many customizations granted on this yacht, which is typically a philosophy granted on super yachts. In this area, there is the sofa and two armchairs with a small table or a dining area with table and chairs for eight people. If you want privacy, behind the sofa you can add a vertical sliding curtain and all around there are see-through closings. That is if it's not the summer season. For manoeuvres there is a third driving station, obviously with a joystick. On the side passages are doors, one leads to the captains and sailors cabins. While the other one gives you direct access to the kitchen from the outside. This way the crew can move around without bothering anyone and without crossing the lounge, exactly like on super yachts. There are also doors on the side decks towards the outside to allow you to get off the boat. The precious teak gunware accompanies us all the way up to the bow. At the top there is the C-shaped sofa for five people and a reading table. The sunbathing area is for three people and has adjustable backrests. Hidden under the cushions are practical lockers. This area is so important that they made sure to shade it, to make it even more comfortable than it already is. You can also add a fridge, a shower and a sound system. Basically, it is another complete outdoor area. Teak on the staircase, which leads to the fly, seems to draw a waterfall. If you are a meticulous and precise person, you will get on perfectly with Aldo Cranky and his family. Take a look at the fully equipped kitchen with a fridge, an ice maker, a glass and cutlery holder, a trash can, a grill, a sink, and cooking plates. There is nothing missing. Then there is the sofa, the sun deck with a locker underneath it and a table which is extendable and rises up and down with an electric control. There is an LED strip inside the windshield which most likely creates pleasant atmosphere in the evening time. Towards the stern there is another shower and then there are speakers in the uprights. If you want you can add a retractable TV here on the fly. Aluminium slats adjustable in various positions let the light filter out, or alternatively, they can be closed completely. The area sheltered from the sun increased thanks to a micro perforated sheet and carbon poles. A double corner opening stern door brings us to the living room. We are now observing one of the four offered versions. This one here is the Venezia Decor, created by the Cranky Atelier at the supervision of the Italian designer Christian Grande. Alternatively, other versions are offered and each one is identified with the name of an Italian city – Rome, Milan and Syracuse – each with a precise feature – high-tech, classical, Mediterranean. But there is more. The cranky atelier interacts directly with the client and listens to his requests and elaborates further variations, and not just stylistic ones. 
Per esempio, su questo esemplare, il salone è completamente separato dalla cucina. For example, on this boat, the lounge is completely separated from the kitchen, which also has direct access to the outside and to the wheelhouse. This way, it is possible to completely divide the areas reserved for guests from those intended for the crew. On the main deck, there is a bathroom to prevent occasional guests from having to go down to the cabins. Another example of variation of the layout can be made in the master cabin, where the beauty area can be changed to an office. This way of perceiving the yacht and the relationship with the owner brings the 78 closer to the large yacht, a super yacht. Cranky offers the advantages of an industrialized product, but at the same time, those of a customized yacht. The furniture comes from the construction site and from important Italian interior design brands. The materials are refined and sought after, such as this oak barbed floor and the back painted glass. The huge windows have electric blinds which are managed, like many other functions, with the home automation system. Below deck there are a total of eight berths in four cabins. All berths are arranged longitudinally so you can rest better. The owner's cabin is naturally full beam and the large windows make you feel the excitement of being out on the water. The suite is completed with a walk-in closet and a bathroom. I would like to point out that the marble coating is aesthetically pleasant and not at all thick. It is rather thin and it is applied on a lightweight support. The restrooms are in typical Italian style. The most comfortable cabin, besides the owner's cabin, is the bow cabin. You can access it through the hallway. It is a large closet and a bathroom with all the utilities. Along the sides, two other cabins, a double with a round bed and a beauty area along the side, and a normal double. Both cabins have a private bathroom with a shower. Qui al comando vedo elementi tecnici che mi piacciono. Tre display della Garmin. Here in the command room I see technical elements that I like. Three 22-inch Garmin displays, which gather all the control functions and commands of the boat. And then there is also a large windshield without a central pillar. This way the view in front is total. Ci sono anche finestrini laterali e... There are also side windows. And on this side I can get an even better view. As usual, the whole project is by Aldo Cranky, and there was also a collaboration with Volvo Penta, because this boat has three engines and three propulsions. It is a rather complex project. The engines are 1,000 horsepower D13 diesels. The propulsions are the classic IPS, iPod drives of Volvo Penta. The system, in its entirety, is called IPS 1350, IPS 1350. In total, we have 3,000 horses. It's one of the first days of summer and it's really hot, which is why I turned on the air conditioning. That is probably the blow that you can hear in the background. Because I don't want you to think that this boat is noisy, considering they did a great job during the design and construction phase to obtain two important qualities, perhaps the most sought after even on super yachts, which are stability and silence. Let's start with the first one, which is stability. They mounted stabilizer fins under the hull, which both work when the boat is at anchor and when it is moving at any speed. However, stability is also due to another fundamental aspect. The hull is made of glass fiber, aramid fibers and carbon. The use of carbon increases as you go upwards. In fact, the flying bridge and the hard top are almost completely made of carbon. The sides made in sandwich promote lightness and strength. It is a boat of large volumes and you need to make sure that the center of gravity remains low. It has a lot of power. However, both with the joystick command and with the throttles, you can dose it very precisely and therefore 
you can guarantee your guests a smooth, silent and gradual navigation. A 12 nodi di velocità il consumo è At 12 knots of speed, consumption is 10 liters per mile of sailing and there is total silence here in the wheelhouse. Ho attivato il sistema automatico di controllo dell'assetto della Humphrey. I have activated Humphrey's automatic trimming control system, which are interceptors that regulate the angle of attack. And so even at low speeds the running angle is 2 degrees and the view is perfect. It is a perfect day because there are no waves, but we will originate them with our turns. We are at a cruising speed of 20 knots. The consumption is 14.7 litres for every mile of sailing. Let's push ourselves a little further up. In the meantime, let me tell you that they have done a great job of soundproofing, not only in the engine room, but also along the entire boat. So much so that you can't even hear the waves. Sixty-two, sixty-three dBA. It is a very low noise range, and we are sailing at twenty-three knots. Sempre con l'obiettivo di ridurre la rumorosità hanno installato due. Always with the aim of reducing noise, they installed two generators. One works alternately with the other, or if it is necessary, when more engine is required, both work at the same time and supply all the power you want. È chiaro che il funzionamento di Clearly, the functioning of only one small generator at a time generates less noise than a large generator. Il serbatoio del carburante è di 5920 The fuel tank is made of carbon and is 5920 liters. Also in carbon is the hull reinforcement structure. Tutta questa leggerezza, nonostante le... The boat is lightweight despite the size, the volumes and the furnishings, which is why it allows us to navigate at 25 knots of speed with a fuel consumption of around 16 litres per mile. And now down with the throttle. I cavalli sono tanti e qua... The boat has lots of horsepower and when I moved the throttles forward I had this perception of thrust. Obviously, talking about thrust on such a large unit may seem strange, but that really is the perception felt. And the speed at this moment has reached 32.4 knots and the engines at 2450 RPM. I went back to cruising speed and I inserted the automatic healing control of the boat which means that, as I turn, the interceptors make sure the boat remains perfectly flat and does not tilt. At 20 knots, the rolling angle is less than one degree. With this 78-feet boat, Cranky has launched a new range of yachts which will pick up ideas and style from this flagship.